Let's look at the true for all method inside of the built in list. True for all simply returns a Boolean indicating whether the condition was true for all items in the list. In this particular list we've used in previous videos and throughout, we're storing the ages of people that are coming to our party. And maybe we want our party to get a little bit wild, and so we don't want any minors there. In that case, we need to check that there's no one under the age of 18. The primitive way of doing that is just saying for each int age in my party ages if age is less than 18 then console right line oh no the party cannot get wild and we'll break at that point because once we find one minor then there's no point searching for more the party cannot get wild now if you look at the sequence of items inside of our list there's no one under the age of 18 so when i control f5 we don't get any output here but let's just say somebody brought their 10 year old along for whatever random reason and now 10 is less than 18 so when we loop through the items 10 less than 18 that's true print the error message break out of the loop you can see we get the error message here in the window that's fine and dandy but we could also use lists true for all method if I say my party ages dot true for all, true for all takes a predicate. We saw predicate in the previous videos. Predicate is simply a delegate that takes an argument type of the type we are storing. In this case, list, we're storing ints. So our predicate here is a predicate that will take each int one by one and indicate either true or falseness. In this case, we don't want any minors at our party. So we'll use the lambda expression that we saw in previous videos as well. And instead of saying I, I'm actually going to say age because true for all will pass each of these ages into this lambda expression one by one. Remember that a lambda expression is simply a method. This is the argument, and then we state the body out here to the right. The case that we want to test for is that their age is greater than or equal to 18. I have to swap the condition here because we're looking for truth instead of falseness down here. And I can say, if it's true for all, that all the ages are greater than or equal to 18, then we're good to go. Console right line, party. Well, I guess we only need one T, but party. So on and so forth. Else, console right line, bust out the hot chocolate. <laughs> I guess to keep it simple for, for a child, we want to break out some hot chocolate. Anyway. Control L, 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 L. Uh, we do still have our 10-year-old, so it's not true for all that age is greater than eight or equal to 18. We're going to bust out the hot chocolate. If I remove the 10-year-old, then you can see, hey, we're going to have a party. I know I showed this in previous videos, but I just want to show it again. I'll put a breakpoint here. F5, age, age greater than 18. You can see that the first age is 35. True for all past 35 in for the first age. F5, we get 39. 39 is greater than 18. We're good to go. Look at the next age, 42, so on and so forth. One by one, the ages will come in. But once I drop the 10-year-old out here, F5, age is 35. F5, age is 39. F5, age is... Man, say that 10 times. H is 42. F5, age 10. 10 is not greater than 18, so it's not true for all the items in there. That age is greater than 18. I'll hit a 5 when we're done searching. There's no point continuing on looking at the rest of the list when we know we have a minor at the party. Now, of course, I want to implement this in our version of a list. We've been working on this list through the course of these videos. And, and just to replicate the behavior in the built-in list, we'll come up here and say bool. Actually, it's got to be public. Public bool. True for all predicate. You've seen in previous videos. I'll say condition. And then it's real simple. There's a couple ways I could do this. I could for each on this. I could say for each T item in this. And then that will rely on the get enumerator methods that we did in previous videos. I think in this case, since we do have direct access to the underlying array, I'll just do a for loop. I, I less than count. And then down here, if not condition items sub i, then return false. We found one item that does not satisfy the condition that the user will pass in via this predicate delegate. Again, if you want to learn about delegates, go look at my delegates playlist, delegates and events, that sort of thing. Otherwise, if we get through the entire loop and nothing failed the condition, then we know we're good to go. Return true. It is true for all. 
Going down here, I can now change list to me list, me list, and control F5, build that, run that. You can see bust out the hot chocolate, take the miner out of the list, control F5. You can see party, like so. Let's actually step through this uh, just once. I'll drop the miner in back here again. And just to really illustrate this, I'm going to take this lambda expression and do exactly what the compiler does and convert it to a normal method. So static bool method name is arbitrary int age age is the parameter name this denotes the body put the return right here semicolon out there uh, let's see true for all now i can just pass the method name here in place of where the lambda expression was f11 f11 f10 to step over all that f11 to step into our true for all i i less than count Item sub i, item sub i is 35 because i is 0. We're going to pass that to condition, which is this method. So then I f11, you can see that the yellow instruction pointer comes down here. Uh, age, age is 35, 35 greater than 18, that is true. Return, keep looking. The next item to go into the condition is the one item, which would be 39, f11, 39 greater than 18, that's true. Keep looking, item sub i is 10, pass that to condition. 10 greater than or equal to 18, that's false. We come back, this returns false. We not that, which is true. Come down here, return false. It's not true for all. Bust out the hot chocolate. Hopefully you're seeing that recurring pattern with that predicate. It's nice with these delegates and lambda expressions. We can generify the code that goes down to the code that we're trying to use. We want this nice true for all and use it for any condition. Maybe instead of doing 18, we want to change it to people who are over 21. Or maybe we want some much older people, 30 and that sort of thing. I can change that out here without having to change any of my code in here. And that's the design we're trying to go for. And that's one place where Steve Halliday and I can agree on.